Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel! If you are new here, my name is Lo and I make tattoo and body mods videos so if you like that type of content, you can check it out and subscribe if you like. Today we will talk about a specific subject relating to tattoos which is a new scam I have discovered on the internet. It's a trap! So I was just looking into my usual Facebook scrolling, you know, and um, I stumbled upon this. Someone was saying they were making tattoo designs and it was clearly AI, so it was not tattoos shown in the pictures. So I thought it looked suspicious and indeed it was, so we will look through that today so you can avoid being caught in that scam. This is Mochi. Say hi, Mochi. He's a void floof. So yeah, I have two cats. Uh, maybe you've seen Tootit in my video in the past. Baby, Tootit, Martin, she has many names, okay? So I will show you here the images um, where my plants are. So the original po post, I'm gonna show the name because this is clearly not the real person's name. And also it looks like it's a very suspicious website. You could report the images. So it's mostly copyright infringement. So I don't care about showing um, their name if it's a true name or showing the profile. In any case, you don't see the person really. So that's the post I've seen uh, in the first place. So that was inbox us if you want to custom tattoo designs. That's poor grammar, but whatever. We have a team of professional tattoo designers. <laughs> yeah, right. They will draw a sketch of your tattoo design ideas and show you how it looks on your body in less price. So many grammar mistakes. Anyway, and there is this these AI images down there. So I looked at more of the posts and I saw the same thing written again and again. Uh, this person saying they have a professional team of designers and showing these AI images. Way too good to be true when you look at the images, it's not tattoos. They look like super fresh tattoos, but super like hyper realistic tattoos. There's no redness, it's not a tattoo. And how I got the confirmation, well, first a lot of people were saying down in the comments, uh, which is nice, like people were aware that this was AI, but I also found out where this AI comes from. So this AI art is from a legitimate project, which is called Monster Crawling. They have an um, Instagram page and what they do, they are pretty known. I see they have a lot of followers and a lot of tattoo artists that I follow, follow them. So it looks more legit, you know? And then when you look, they have a real website and what they do, they have some AI images and they do, um, they connect people to tattoo artists. And I mean, it's amazing tattoo artist. This this famous piece that you've probably seen if you like tattoos on the internet is there uh, like super crazy hyper realism and they clearly state that it is AI and that there are designs and they say when it's a real tattoo and from who. So these designs are legit. Um, they are of course AI, which is another debate, of course, should we use AI and then use them to make AI to make some designs and then the tattoo artists can do the, the work? That's a question we can ask ourselves. Uh, Mid Journey, for example, they are right now into, you know, lawsuits and stuff because of stolen uh, intellectual property, so stolen art from artists, so there's that as well, but that is another debate. Good thing is that this is legitimate, uh, it's really, uh, the money goes to artists, I mean, if, you know, AI could be good in some ways, I guess, and if it's legitimate, that's fine. But this person called Junai Ahmed is not legitimate. And I scroll down and I scroll down and I scroll down because there are a lot of things. Apparently this person is doing that uh, since a long time and they have a lot of people liking their things. So it means a lot of people have bought into it and uh, they have stolen also images of tattoo artists. For example, I was scrolling and I found that. 
and this is in a video but if you can see there's one thing there and I looked at the tattoo I was like this is something from a tattoo artist I know. I have a Thai tattoo from Mermaid Sketches. She's amazing, an amazing tattoo artist. And she has done a lot of little bat tattoos, really cute and colorful. And this is pomegranate and bats. And I was like, I'm pretty sure she has done that tattoo. And I scrolled down, scrolled down. I made a lot of research for that, guys. And I found it she made that exact tattoo. So this person stole, this is one example of, image, of an image stolen, but all of them are pretty much. Then about the videos, all the videos are not from them. Uh, you can clearly see it's stolen from legitimate artists. So uh, there are a lot on the page of uh, Monster, how they called again? monster crawling because if you look they have a really good selection of amazing tattoo artists which do hyper realism for example or really outstanding art so of course that is interesting for someone who wants to scam people out of money look at the amazing tattoo work i can do the amazing designs and you take the best of the best right also, if there are any tattoos from artists that you recognize, you can put them down in the comments. We always like to have the real credits for images which this person has stolen. At one point I looked down and I saw these videos of um, apparently an app that this person has created to get custom tattoo designs, but it's just like a bundle of pictures of different things to, to, to took on the internet so it's not custom tattoo designs like anybody could do that you can just research on the internet let's say you want a mermaid tattoo you just reach research mermaid tattoo color mermaid tattoo nail traditional if you know the style you like um just you know mermaid in general getting like nice images then you find an artist that's usually the type of thing you do and you can find so many images for free on the internet for free so what is this person doing exactly that's my question they will ask you for money at a certain point that's for sure so they tell you they do custom designs so what do they do do they recreate things in mid-journey and sell that to you or is there nothing and you pay for nothing or is there an app you download and then there's a hidden subscription that's really likely for the app thing so it looks like it's free but then it's like 50 bucks a month 30 bucks a month and then you forget about it and you just pay that maybe it's that do they ask you you know to pay for a custom tattoo designs uh then they just google images and like give them to you which is kind of a scam right you could do that anybody could do that of course there's a fine line like you want to pay for a service you could pay someone to research for you on google if you Want, but what they say is that they have a team of designers and literally you can tell that there is no team of designers it's just stolen images so clearly you're not paying it, it doesn't advertise pay me to research the best images on google or instagram right if they were to say that like nobody would pay them or maybe it would there be like maybe i would pay a buck for someone to do the research for me like five bucks five bucks okay you do the research for me i use my time for something else i don't know uh, <laughs> not really no i wouldn't i wouldn't do that so yeah don't give your money to strangers on the internet it is not how tattooing works usually how it works you find ideas you can find some images inspiration ideas you find artists you can go through the artists on Instagram. It's really easy to do. You can find the style you like. Do you want black and white, do, uh, black and gray? Do you want neo-traditional? Do you want traditional? Do you want, you know, there's many styles that you can go and look at. So get yourself into the tattoo world and getting to know what you want. And then you find the right tattoo artist for you that has some availability. If they are not available, you wait and you set up an appointment. And and then you know you come up with the images they tell you if they can do it they can tell you how they would do it and you know 
so on and so forth and that is usually how it works and usually also artists will want to do their own designs that's just how it works okay if you want to get a really nice tattoo it is pretty rare that the artist will agree to do something that has been already done like copying work or you know you want this design and they do the exact same thing Usually very good artists will put their touch into a project, will take some inspiration but make it their own. That's how a good artist will work usually. Or they will want the authorization from the original artist to do, um, you know, the, the art from the art that they have to a tattoo. So even if you, pay, if you pay, let's say if it's legitimate and you pay for a design or you take an image on the internet, whatever you do, and you come to a tattoo artist, usually do not expect the tattoo artist to say yes and copy the exact same thing. I know it happened to my tattoo artist for this beautiful tattoo. Apparently people love it. Uh, someone also copied it, like copy paste amazing uh, but there's a lot of people apparently who said that they were interested into getting that of course you cannot get the exact same thing the tattoo artist will do something of the sort something similar something in the same style but not recreate the same tattoo design twice except if it's a flash and usually it's said before like can be done multiple times it's for like usually it's little flashes that are not like super original like little hearts little flowers and things like that so this is how it usually works it does not work like pay for a design and then get it tattooed usually doesn't mean that it doesn't exist that you cannot pay one artist to do a design and day and then pay another artist to get it tattooed but it's pretty rare because the artist will want it to be blended to your body if it's a big piece um, and they will want to do their own work usually and not like take something from someone else so that's it guys be very careful do not give your money away to or your personal information to random people on the internet even if it looks good and in that case if it looks too good to be true, it probably is. It costs a lot of money to get an amazing, hyper-realistic tattoo, right? So this person will not deliver that to you. Either they will give you a copied image or they will give you something AI made, which, I mean, you could just download Mid Journey and get it done yourself, right? So please be careful on the internet. Just hopping on here to ask you please to like this video if you enjoy and to subscribe. It really helps out my channel. That was my video for today. I hope you liked it. I hope you'll be careful on the internet with your money money and see you next time.